What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another laser pointer review for you guys. Today I'm going to be opening up and reviewing the Laser 303, and this one is going to be the 405 nanometer, the purple one. So this one cost me about $12, it includes a charger, a battery, and a holster, and it did come from China, so you will have to probably wait two, two and a half weeks for shipping. I wanted to find you guys a US seller, but there weren't really any US sellers selling the purple one. So that plastic piece I just pulled out was the charger, and then this little cloth piece right here, that's going to be the holster. And the laser is actually already in it right now, and I can see some plastic in there, so they kind of bubble wrapped it a bit. And I'm not seeing the battery anywhere, so I'm going to guess that the battery is already inside the laser, and there's probably a little piece of paper that you got to remove in order to actually use it. So here you have the laser 303 itself. It's made of some type of metal, I'm going to guess maybe something like aluminum. On the page where you go to purchase it, they say the material is aero metal, but it's probably just something like aluminum. I think they're just using a fancy term there. I'm going to give you guys a close-up shot of that safety label. So this is labeled as a 5 milliwatt laser, but anybody who knows lasers knows that that's most likely false. It's just to get around customs laws and eBay policies. It's probably going to be a bit more than 5 milliwatts. And they also write on here that it's 405 nanometers. That's the UV purple color. And they also write on here that it's a class 3 laser. So on this laser, there are some attachments as well that I haven't mentioned yet. It comes with a lanyard at the very bottom that you can put around your wrist in order to help you prevent dropping it. And there's also two little keys attached to that lanyard. You can disable this laser with those keys and nobody will be able to use it. So getting to where the battery is is pretty self-explanatory. You just unscrew the little bottom piece right here and that gives you access to the inside of the laser where you put the battery and as you can see the battery is already in it. It is wrapped in a layer of plastic in order to prevent it from turning on and it seems like that layer of plastic is making it a little difficult to take out of here. So what I'm going to attempt to do is kind of just grab onto that plastic with the tip of this knife and pull it out. Do not attempt this because if you accidentally puncture that battery with a knife you could be in some trouble. So I have the battery out and I'm going to open this up and take the plastic off. So in case any of you decide to go with a listing that maybe doesn't include a battery, the battery that comes with this laser is an Ultrafire 3600 milliamp 18650 3.7 volt battery. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think you might be able to use smaller rechargeable batteries with this because there is a section in the middle of the laser that also unscrews, making the laser a bit shorter, meaning it could use a smaller battery. Like I said, I haven't tested it, so I'm not exactly sure, but people have told me that's the reason that halfway point does unscrew, so you could use a smaller rechargeable battery if you wanted to. Now, another thing I didn't mention is that this laser comes with a star cap attachment on the very top of it, and when you get the laser, it'll usually already be screwed onto the laser, so don't go looking around thinking it wasn't included. So I just put my battery in there negative side up and screwed it back together, and I'm going to test it out using the button on the side of the laser. And as you guys just saw right there, it worked great, and it did have that galaxy star effect because I do have that star cap screwed on the top there. And I'm going to show you guys, you just unscrew the very top, and the star cap will come off. And it kind of looks like there's two star caps on there, but the second one is actually a focusing feature. So make sure that you're only unscrewing the very top part. Now this piece right here that looks like a second star cap is actually a focusing feature. Do not try to unscrew this all the way off because it won't come all the way off, and if it does, you've broken the laser. This will help you focus in and focus out that dot because this is also a burning laser pointer, in case you guys didn't know. Now, whenever you guys are actually using the laser, it is suggested that you guys use a pair of laser safety glasses to avoid any eye damage because that would really, really suck if you did accidentally point it at your eyes. And you can even get eye damage from staring at that dot for too long, too. I would just really suggest using a pair of safety glasses. I'll put some links down below in the description on where you can buy some laser safety glasses for pretty cheap. Now, one thing I've never really liked about this laser and the Laser 303s is that the button on it is a hold to use button. You have to hold it down the entire time. And I don't like that very much. I like the ones where you can just click it once on, click it once off but maybe some people do prefer that. Make sure that you're not leaving your laser on for extended periods of time, maybe like a minute or two at most. That way you don't burn out the diode, and even two minutes would be pushing it. I wouldn't really try that just because it's not like the most high-end laser. It is a cheap Chinese laser pointer. The color might appear more bluish than it does in person. This is more of a UV purple color, but the camera doesn't really pick it up that well, so in the video you guys might see it as more of a bluish color. And what I'm doing right here is just demonstrating it for you guys in different lighting levels. Outdoors during daylight, it's pretty, pretty tough to see. 
and the camera might even be picking it up a little bit better than my human eye is picking it up. In darker settings like nighttime or in a dark indoor setting like this one, the beam is slightly visible, but it's not like crazy visible. You're only really going to be able to see it if you're looking down the line of the laser. Somebody looking at it from the side definitely won't be able to see the beam on this one for the most part. And because this is that UV purple color, it's really hard to capture on camera and it mostly just shows up blue, especially in a dark setting, but if you're seeing it in person, it's a deep purple. It's like as purple as it gets, it's ultraviolet light, and it doesn't really look as blue as it's being represented right here in the video. So this right here is that star cap attachment. I just have it screwed onto the front of the laser, and basically all you do is kind of turn it and it makes all the little stars go in and out of each other. It's pretty cool, but... It's not really as bright as it looks here in the video. It's a little bit dimmer. It's still pretty cool though. And I also hit the LPM with this laser and I got some pretty good readings actually. It was well above 5 milliwatts and I averaged out at about 55 milliwatts for this laser. Which, I mean, it's good if you were looking for something that's more powerful, but it's bad if you were actually looking for something that's truly 5 milliwatts, because this is not. So, as I stated before, this is also a burning laser pointer. It has that focusing feature, and you are able to do some things like kind of etch in black plastic a little bit, and you can also light matches. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys. Make sure you're wearing your laser safety glasses when doing this, because this does involve looking at that dot. You're not pointing the laser at yourself, but you are looking at that dot pointed at an object. So to start, you're going to grab something that's made out of black plastic. I usually just use the charger that comes with the lasers, but I'm using a junk charger here. What you're going to do is you're going to point the laser dot at that object from maybe about six to seven inches away, and you're just going to use that focusing knob on the top and turn it until you make the smallest dot possible, and you should start seeing some little tiny smoke and little etch marks coming off of that black plastic. So once you see a little smoke coming off the plastic, you have your laser focused in and you should leave the knob on the top the way it is. I'm going to move on to some matches now because I have my laser focused in. These are both red top matches, however, I colored one of them in with black sharpie on the very top. And I'm going to see if I can get the red one started, but I'm a bit skeptical because I've had issues in the past with my other purple 303s. They aren't that good at lighting matches. So I'm going to try for a couple of minutes here to get this red top match started. But the reason I colored in the other one black is because lasers burn darker objects better, so if I'm not able to light that red one, I'll probably be able to light the black one at least. Okay, so I've been trying for about two minutes now, and all I'm getting is a little tiny bit of smoke off the red one, and it's not igniting whatsoever. So I'm going to call it quits on the red one. I'm going to move over to the black one now. I'm still focused in. I'm going to see if I can have any luck lighting that one. Immediately, I'm seeing a good amount of smoke coming off it, which is a good sign. It was a lot more than the red one. And there we go. I got it lighted. So it's not the best at lighting red matches, but if you do really want to show your friends that you can light matches with this, you could color them in black with a Sharpie, and that'll make them much easier to light. So moving on to the reviewing aspect of this laser, I do really like it a lot. For the price of $12 and all the accessories you get, you really can't complain. It does stink that it does come from China most of the time and there aren't many US sellers, but who knows, maybe in the future more US sellers will have them in stock. I do like how reliable it is. I have a couple of other purple 303s that I got a couple months back and none of them have broken yet and I use them all pretty often. It's definitely not the best burner and it's definitely not the brightest, but it's still pretty cool and it's a cool color. A lot of beginners won't have a 405 nanometer a purple laser in their collection, so it's a nice way to add this one to your collection for a cheap price. I would like a button that you don't have to hold down, but that's kind of personal preference. Some people do prefer that. And I do like the fact that this laser is much stronger than 5 milliwatts. But if you were looking for a 5 milliwatt laser, this probably isn't for you because like I said, it does average out at about 55 milliwatts. So if you guys enjoyed this review or found it helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.